So as, as we move along with these uh, many projects, new projects, completing some old projects, these successes that we're having here in the city of Lakeport, um, we need to do our due diligence uh, as city officials, as elected officials, to make sure that we are preparing the environment uh, here in Lakeport to support these various successes we have. And a few ways we are doing that, one is our LEDAC group, and that's the Lakeport Economic Development Advisory Committee. And that is a group of local citizens here along with uh, some staff that really work together, put their heads together, their stakeholders in the community to try to figure out what's the best way to improve economic development within the city of Lakeport. That is ongoing. Um, second, we have a regional economic development program that we work with the county. And these are all the stakeholders in the county, uh, business leaders, business owners, small to large, um, elected officials, staff from county, both cities, really coming together, um, utilizing consultants to try to figure out how to best um, utilize our beautiful gem here in Lake County, of course, the lake itself, but how do we attract those outside businesses? How do we attract those businesses uh, to come to Lake County? Of course, that is attracting visitors. So it's really one large family that works together um, to better our community. And of course, we have two cities, love the city of Lakeport, but in reality, we are all Lake Countyans. It's one giant community, and uh, we need to take that togetherness and, and really push all of the citizens of Lake County forward. So those are some very important items to help us really let the citizens know that these successes um, aren't just gonna be a one-time deal. We're gonna compound them, um, we're gonna repeat them, and this group of folks that have gotten together uh, are working to make that happen. So of course, this wasn't a normal budget year. Uh, 2015. Um, as most of the United States knows, and I'm sure worldwide, uh, Lake County was hit with a major fire season and two really large fires. And the third largest in California's history, of course, the Valley Fire. And the impact that it had on this county, you know, has, has now been estimated at over a billion dollars, and many feel that that's still low. And here in the city of Lakeport, we were extremely unfortunate not to have the fire touch our city, not directly, but it did in many other ways. The main base of operations for CAL FIRE was at our Lake County Fairgrounds here inside the city. And our city's population is roughly 5,000. It nearly doubled in a two week period with almost 5,000 fire personnel. It really impacted our citizens, hundreds and hundreds of fire trucks in our town. Um, our fairgrounds was a small city in itself. You know, our city really stepped forward. We provided as much staff as we could, uh, especially on the evening of the fire. Our public works department uh, were up alongside county public works department, alongside law enforcement, fire personnel evacuating people. Tens of thousands of people that had to be evacuated in a moment's notice. Um, ongoing safety. Uh, road closures, uh, of course our local fire personnel not only doing their normal job but assisting CAL FIRE as well. Our local law enforcement uh, helping in the fire zone to keep looters out to make sure that people that were fortunate to still have their property kept their property. Uh, my good friend, the Sheriff of Lake County, he made a statement on one of our trips to visit over 300 of our citizens uh, that were in an evacuation center in Calistoga. And on the way down there, he said, do you realize that of 60,000 citizens here in Lake County, you probably couldn't find one person that doesn't know someone that lost their home in these fires. You know, and with, and with having such a large uh, disaster event here in the county, um, you know, it allows municipalities to take a step back, uh, look in the mirror, and make sure that they're doing everything they can internally to protect our citizens um, should ever an event or a similar event happen here to the city. So one of the main things we did is we have expanded our Nixel program. And Nixel is a notification program that comes to your cell phone, uh, email, uh, other communication devices that our local law enforcement um, and emergency personnel can put out to our citizens that sign up for it. And that's one small step that exists. And what we've done is we've expanded that to what's called Nixel 360. And what that will allow us to do is reverse 911 uh, to uh, both cell phones uh, and landlines. Uh, it'll also allow us to, in a FEMA-sized 
uh, disaster or a California OES disaster, um, we can actually broadcast an emergency message to anyone with a smartphone that has their emergency messaging component turned on, whether or not they're signed up for any emergency service if they're within the jurisdiction of the city. And that could be most important for fire, flood, um, I mean, there's just, it's whatever may present itself. So we felt that was a very huge step uh, to help protect our citizens here inside the city of Lakeport because when that fire rolled in, there wasn't time to do anything but get out with your life. So we want to make sure that if an event like that ever hits here, that we can get that message to as many citizens as possible. So as, as we move through uh, the end of my term as mayor, and uh, it was, it was a, uh, a very tough couple last months, um, coming out of the fires and then coming into the holidays. We really looked beyond um, all of ourselves individually. We became one big family of Lake County to help Lake County. We all became family members. It was one giant holiday table. I work with a lot of elected officials through the League of California Cities. I see how big cities, small cities work, other areas, and I really believe that the working team of elected officials and community leaders that have really come together right now and will continue forward um, it will be pretty hard to beat in any state. So I'm pretty proud of that and, and uh, I'm very excited for, for 2016, the next five years, the next 20 years because I'll be here for it.